The technology in the Media Center is only helpful if we know how to use it. Today we're going to be creating a short video that you can refer back to or use as a resource when you need that little extra helping hand to find a book in the Media Center. Okay, I'm standing at the circulation desk, and the reason we call it the circulation desk is because this is where students check books out of the Media Center. Once you check a book out of the Media Center, it circulates outside the walls of the Media Center. You may give it to another student to let them take a look at what you found, or you may use the book as a presentation in class. Once you return the book back to the Media Center, that circle is complete, and other students may check books out of the Media Center to circulate as they will. Our library, or Media Center, is divided into two types of books, fiction and nonfiction. In our Media Center, the nonfiction books are located on the outside shelves around the walls of the Media Center. The fiction books are located in the shelves in the center of the Media Center. Okay, so you may be wondering, fiction, nonfiction, what's the difference? Nonfiction books are, fic are books that are true. Fiction books are books that are fictitious, fake, or not true. All of the books in our media system, media center, are organized by a classification system. That classification system is called the Dewey Desk. Fiction books are actually classified under the 813s, but most media centers and libraries keep their fiction books in a separate section, otherwise the 813s would be too large. If you are looking for a book in the fiction section, they are organized according to the author's last name. Take, for instance, a name like Smith. If you were looking for Smith in the fiction section, you would look for SMI. Smith is a very common name. If there were more than one Smith, you would look for SMI and then go to according to the author's first initial. Nonfiction books are shelved according to their subject matter. Let's say, for instance, you wanted to find a book on fitness. No problem. All fitness books are located in the 613s. You would just go over to the 613s and look for any book on fitness. The call numbers are located on the spine of the book. If you're having trouble finding a book in the Media Center, remember this. You're always going to start on the left and move to the right and then go from the top to the bottom. So when you get to the end, on the right, you go down to the bottom, start at the left, and move to the right again. When organizing books in the Media Center, we use the Dewey Decimal Number. The Dewey Decimal Number is a call number that organizes the the way the books are shelved on, in the Media Center. The Dewey call number always has three numbers to the left of the decimal. Have you ever wondered why some call numbers are so long? The reason is the more numbers you add to the right of the decimal, the more specific the topic gets. To the right of the decimal, there is no limit on numbers. Here's something to remember. Don't let it confuse you. But just because it's a call number doesn't mean it has numbers. Some call numbers are made up of letters as well. Okay, so now we're actually to the part where we're going to find a book in the Media Center using the card catalog. The card catalog computers are over, over here on the left-hand side of the Media Center. When you approach the card catalog computers, you will be on the Iroquois Middle School homepage. You need to click the catalog page in order to search for a book. As you notice, there are topics, keyword, title, author, subject, and series. If you know the title of the book, you're simply going to type in the title and click on the title link. If you know the author, you're going to type in the author and click on the author link. If you're just trying to find a subject and you're not sure of the author or the title of the book, you can type in keywords. We're going to go with dogs.
This brings up a series of books about dogs. They may either be fiction or nonfiction. Uh, Once you search for the keyword dogs, several books pop up. This first entry here is a fiction book, Hotel for Dogs, which means it is not true. The second book here, Natural Dog Care, is a nonfiction book, which means the information found here will be true and factual. If you're doing a report on dogs, you, you will probably want to use the nonfiction book. If you go to the section 636.7 FOG, you will find your natural dog care book on the shelf. So once you understand how the media center is organized, once you're able to access the card catalog to find your books, you should have no problem finding any of the resources you need in the media center. It's easy once you know the steps.